Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we're going to go over Waylon's uh, one month. I can't believe he's already a month. He's actually um, over there on his little play mat just looking at some stuff hanging down. Um, I can't believe that he's already a month old. And he's like almost, well he's not almost two months, but he's like a little, you know, he's like a couple weeks past being a month old. It's been going really well. I am just nursing around the clock and he's a really good nurser. We just had his um, lip and tongue tie release done last week, so we're still doing exercises. That went really well. He's pretty much like almost done healing, but we still have to do the exercises for another week. Um, he did have a significant tongue or lip tie and his tongue was pretty anchored to the floor of his mouth, so he really couldn't elevate it enough to like make that wave motion. Um, he was nursing fine and gaining fine, um, but I was just like having like some discomfort and he was also spitting up a lot. He still spits up a lot. Out of all three boys, he spits up the most. My other two like rarely spit up. He spits up all the time and it's a lot, but uh, our pediatrician reassured us that it's normal and um, he'll grow out of it and he's gaining weight really fine like really well so it's not really that much of a issue. Um, I will show you him in a couple minutes here but he is already 11 pounds and at the beginning of this month he went in for his one month checkup and he was at 9 pounds. He was born at 7 pounds 4 ounces and now like he's 11 pounds so he's gained like 3 pounds in like a matter of like 2 weeks. <laughs> so that I think goes to show that those lip tie and tongue tie releases actually do work. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, definitely look at a pediatric dentist. I wouldn't suggest an ENT. Um, you want like the laser procedure. You really don't want to be doing the clipping. They can't get as deep with the scissors as they can with the laser on the tongue, which can affect swallowing and all this other jazz, which totally can be another video. And if you guys are interested in learning more about tongue and lip ties, I can completely do another video on that. Just comment down below. So he's 11 pounds now. He's in size one diapers. He's in about three to six months clothing and loves being swaddled. He's been doing really good, like kind of learning how to sleep. Is starting to nap in his crib and I'm starting to kind of get him used to that. Um, really likes being swaddled, so we just swaddle him, um, give him the pacifier, and then he usually goes to sleep for a little bit. He doesn't sleep for very long, but that's a start on getting him used to his crib. He had just smiled at me the other day, so I'm hoping that he like keeps smiling. He's starting to kind of do the little talking and like cooing at us. Nurses around the clock, like literally all the time. The, I want to say he's one of the only ones that nursed this much out of all my three boys. He also lost all of his hair like on the top here so he kind of has this like fryer tuck thing going on. Sniffing? So much sniffing. Here do you need some, some milks? He is, he's been doing really well. Um, you know we've been doing like the tummy time and his hair is growing back which is good. Um, I feel like my kids like their hair they always like lose their hair it's really weird what else has been going on with you we think he's gonna have like really light hair and we're hoping he keeps his blue eyes just like his brother lincoln but we'll see like he's, he's still pretty young so as for like my milk supply and like pumping and me and how i'm doing so i'm feeling a lot better postpartum um if you guys didn't see my last video i was sick as in like I had a cold and um, I just like wasn't feeling well. I'm feeling much better. Um, I finally stopped bleeding. So it's been like, I want to say like a good six weeks now that I've like, um, like I'm six months or six months. I'm six weeks postpartum this week. So um, I'm not back to my pre-pregnancy weight. I still have probably about like 10 15 pounds to lose which that'll like come for me usually that'll kind of happen at like the five month four month mark um i'll start like getting closer to my pre-pregnancy weight but we'll see um because i am older so who knows i may have to like start doing like some more 
you know, walking and working out and stuff like that. But I'm not, you know, I'm not really thinking about that right now. I'm still, you know, we're, this is, we're still fresh. I haven't had any hair loss yet. My hair loss usually starts at four months postpartum. I have been using rosemary essential oil. I did just take a shower and I put the essential, what are you doing? Oh, we just pooped. <laughs> I put the essential oil um, in my shampoo and then I like work it in my hair and I leave it in there for a good like four minutes. And it's supposed to help, the rosemary is supposed to help with hair loss, so we'll see. Um, I will do absolutely anything because my hair loss last time was so, so bad. Like I was ready to shave my head. But as for just like postpartum blues, like I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm definitely somebody who I have to like get out of the house in order to feel better even with a new baby which can be overwhelming just because like I have three kids now that I have to watch when I'm like out and about but I can't like cooping myself up in the house like just makes my just postpartum blues like worse but um, I'm not like I don't you know feel that they're um, anything to worry about it's just kind of like that normal hormone still coming down so but my milk supply is really good um, I've been pumping once a day with a pump that I'm going to be reviewing soon so keep an eye out for that so I pump about once a day sometimes twice a day I get about like four three to four ounces depending on like wow this kid you pooping <laughs> depending on like the time of day and how often he's nursed on whatever side. So I've been like kind of freezing it, putting it in the fridge. Um, he does take a bottle occasionally when I am away from him. And since I am gonna start back at work um, in, let's see, mid-September, mother-in-law will watch him once a week. Um, so he will need a bottle then. So he's been pretty good with the bottle and we've been doing like um, paste, bottle feeding, which is supposed to be really good for um, babies who are also breastfeeding. And I haven't noticed like any issues or like preferences yet. He's like listening right now. He loves to listen and like look around. Um, yeah. And as for like sleeping, we co-sleep right now. So he mainly sleeps right, you know, next to me and just kind of nurses if he ever wakes up, he could probably gets up about three times, but really doesn't stay up too long. He did just go through a leap and he was staying up longer. So it's nice that he's kind of back to sleeping a little better. We do start him out in the crib um, before bed and he stays in there for about like two, sometimes three hours, which isn't too long, but honestly, like it's two hours of uninterrupted sleep, which, is good, so um, it's something. So we're just starting with that. Wow, you are pooping so much. Oh my God. Um, this is so silly. Can I show you them? Can I show you their, your cute face? He's still eating right now. Um, but I feel like that's it for his like one month update. Really happy with how much weight he's gaining and he's so far my biggest baby. I think it's because I'm nursing him kind of like block feeding. So instead of switching to the other side as often as I feel like you sort of do, you know, like when they're done with one side, you're just like, oh, go to the next side. I really wait till I have like another letdown. So he really gets that fatty milk. Also, if he wants the other side, I will give him the other side. But then if he wants to nurse again, I'll still start him on that other, that first side so that he gets more of that fatty milk. And I really think that that's been what's been helping just him gain a lot of weight. He also does eat a ton. So that could be it as well. Let's show them your little face. Can you, um, are you done eating? Hello, sir. That's another thing, my little one. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Look at how cute. Oh, shh, 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 shh. He just had a poop, so that's why. There we go. There's a baby. Oh! Don't throw up. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Well, I will see you guys in my next video.